Kim Kardashian's ex-boyfriend has shed some light on what it was reportedly like to attend one of Sean Diddy Combs' infamous parties. Diddy, who continues to await trial behind the walls of Brookhill's notorious Metropolitan Detention Center, MDC, was once renowned for his star-studded bashes, which saw A-listers mingling against opulent backdrops. Now Diddy's parties have gained attention once more for a very different reason. After the rapper was last month arrested in New York and later charged with sex trafficking, racketeering conspiracy, transportation and engaging in prostitution, Diddy 54 has vehemently denied all charges and has pled not guilty in court. It's been alleged that Diddy held secret freak-off parties that involved illegal drugs, hidden cameras, sex workers and underage girls. According to the grand jury indictment documents, these days-long orgies saw either barely legal or barely illegal women forced to have sex with male prostitutes. As per this indictment which has been seen by the mirror, it's also been claimed that Diddy hit, kicked, threw objects at and dragged victims at times by their hair, and that he subjected victims to physical, emotional, and verbal abuse to cause the victims to engage in freak-offs. In recent times, a number of celebrities have sought to distance themselves from Diddy, including Kim K., now Kim's ex-boyfriend, Ray J., Ray all name William Ray Norwood Jr., has opened up about his own experience at Diddy's parties during an interview with Chris Cuomo on News Nation's Cuomo last month. The R&B singer, who dated Kim from 2002 to 2006, stated that a lot of people in the industry had been unaware of anything related to the serious allegations made against Diddy Ray J. explained, We've never seen the stuff that's being said and the stuff that people are finding out like I've never been in rooms that people are talking about and I never knew they existed. And a lot of people in the industry can agree with me on that sense. Like you all wanted to go and have a good time at a Diddy party. He proceeded to say that guests wanted to have a good time, be inspired, and work hard the following day because of the good vibes they'd enjoyed. According to One Wish artist Ray J, people are still trying to digest and understand everything, and while the allegations weren't factual yet, they have still proven to be hurtful and confusing for some shortly before Diddy's mansions were raided earlier this year, Kim, 43, quietly unfollowed the three-time Grammy Award winner, as did a number of other stars. Kim and her sisters once moved in the same social circles as Diddy, and the siblings have often spoken of the fun times they've enjoyed at the music mogul's glittering gatherings. In a 2014 episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Chloe can be heard regaling Courtney with tales of a wild party where people were allegedly, but naked, confirming that she'd spent the weekend with celeb pals including Diddy, Quincy Brown, Justin Bieber, and French Montana, Chloe claimed, I got on a plane at 5.30 a.m. Well, this party. I think half the people there were but naked. She added, you would have loved it. An Instagram post shared by Chloe in December 2019 shows her and sisters Kylie and Kim all glammed up while posing with Diddy, with the caption, Nothing like a Diddy party. Speaking outside the courthouse on September 17, Diddy's lawyer Mark Agnifilo said, Mr. Combs is a fighter, he's going to fight this to the end. He's innocent. He came to New York to establish his innocence. He's not afraid, he's not afraid of the charges. Combs' attorney, previously addressing earlier allegations, remarked that his client cannot address every meritless allegation in what has become a reckless media circus.